So today we're going to be looking at when you should attack and what you should do to prepare the way for your attack. Now you can do that either by exerting force on the opponent's blade, you can do that by getting ahead in time via, for instance, a feint, or you could do a combination of the two. We're going to see videos in full speed and then in slow speed. So here comes the first one using force. So I'm in the green. It might look like I got hit at the end. I did not. That was sort of a body void. So I'm using force as I extend my blade to bind out my opponent's blade. That is exerting force. I then exert more force with my dagger so here I come, I'm binding out my opponent's blade, and here I come across with my dagger to further knock his blade out of position, and now with that force I've paved the way for me to attack my opponent successfully without having to worry about his sword. In the next video you're gonna see getting ahead by time. Now, it might have been a little difficult to notice uh, what happened. The opponent concedes the match because I hit his foot and he did, I assume he didn't want to kneel. But watch the tip of my sword. The tip of my sword raises, indicating an attack towards the opponent's head. But this is a feint. And you'll notice the opponent's sword rise up as I do this feint. So here it comes, the tip of my sword is lifting towards his head as I extend, the opponent's sword lifts up, and then with good cover I attack the foot having gotten ahead in time of my opponent. Lastly, you're going to see a combination of the two, force and time. So again, might look like I got hit, I did not. I hit my opponent. I'm in the uh, silver chain mail. So I begin by using force to push my opponent's blade out of the way with a bind maneuver. Now in this instance my opponent's blade pretty much stays down the whole time. Uh, that was not the intention but so I push his blade out of the way. Here I attack the center line and attack around the outside low line. Now this isn't an ideal demonstration. Ideally I would have fainted up the middle to get ahead in time uh, after I had dealt with my opponent's sword, but I think it still gives you roughly the idea. Thank you.